Hi guys, so I just wanted to do a quick update on the Sigma Showdown miniature I've been working on. Right then, here it is. Sorry, the uh, the software slowed down a little bit there. So here it is. Right, so this is uh, the miniature. So last time you saw it, it was basically unpainted. It wasn't even primed, was it? So I've done a little bit more progress since then. I'm just going to take this fella off now uh, I'll take it piece by piece because I've done the base as well this here uh, is probably the least painted of all the bits as you can see as I drop it um, so the little rat dudes aren't painted they've had a bit of flesh color painted on the front of them there I've done a bit of the wood and um, the wood has had brown put on it and then it's been dry brushed with um, some some lighter colour, I'm not sure what it was. And then it's had a wash to bring the, the colour back down again. Same for the wood there. I've put all the um, the silver bits on, which is bolt gun, and that's been... Whoa, that was a strange colour that just happened there, wasn't it? Look at that. Anyway, um, and then that's been uh, black washed, as you can see. Uh, I need to do a lot of work to this here to make it look awesome. The wheels have come out really nice, and I really like the way that the, uh, the wood textures come out as well. You can see the uh, the magnet there, unfortunately, but hey ho. The bottom of the wood there, I didn't actually pay as much attention to the bottom of the wood, so unfortunately that hasn't come out great. But at the end of the day, you can't see it. It's the top of the wood that's the bit that's important, and uh, I'm pretty happy with the way that's come out. So uh, again, that's the least painted bit. Now onto the base. So the base, uh, as you can see, I've done a little bit of uh, attempted water effects in the middle there. I'll go over that. I had a bit of a palaver with the uh, the water effects. So the base, I've used the same sort of basing technique as I did with my um, my Frostgrave miniatures in that I used some textured plastic card. I cut a hole in the middle here as you can see and then I used some super glue and some sand to add some texture around it just to take away the edge of the, uh, the plastic card where I'd cut it uh, and then I used some water effects. So I used this stuff here, which is some cheap stuff that I had lying around that a friend had given to me. Um, some simulated countryside water effects. I had no idea if it was going to work well. And to be honest, it did work well for the first um, day or so. It looked amazing. Um, and then what started to happen is it started to lift away from the primer that was underneath it. And it had this grey ring going on. Um, so then I decided to paint it black and... Uh, and then uh, gloss varnish it and unfortunately it's no longer completely flat which is an absolute disaster um, so that's a bit of a shame I'm, I'm not very happy about that uh, what I've also done is I've painted the water effect between the cobblestones so you can see that there the idea being the that I'm trying to give the impression that the um, the soil or the grit in between the cobblestones is wet but not all of them so that's that's the effect that I was going for, and then it's coming from in between the uh, the bits in the puddle. Um, when it catches the light, as you can see there, I think it gives a really nice effect, um, especially when a miniature is close to it. It's hard to get on camera, but in person it does actually give a really nice effect. And to be honest, when this is on on the actual base, it's like that. All that you see between there is just the glint of the. Uh, the gloss on that there so it's not a massive problem it's just a shame that the the water effects didn't work very well so i'm going to have to change up how i do a lot of the other bases unfortunately i have used the same technique on the other 20 skaven uh, bases that i've done so then i turn my attention to this little fella so i've used some yellow on uh, the bottom part of his uh, robes and then a dark green I think it's Caliban green on the top part of his robes and then I've used um, warpstone green to highlight the top and then I've uh, hit the rest with a brown wash and highlighted it back up to the original yellow which is like a sand yellow uh, this is my normal my normal colorblind technique um, it's basically foolproof uh, and basically it just involves doing a base and then a wash and then the base again and it's the same for the skin color on the hands and then the um, the bone color 
on the strappings here and on the bits of the robe there that needs a little bit more of a wash going on there and of course the skin on his feet I need to do the nails I need to do a bit more work to those bits of his back there um, and I think I need to do a little bit more work highlighting up his tail as well uh, but yeah I am really chuffed with the way he's come out he sits on there quite nice and uh, it makes it stand out quite nicely it's a lovely little miniature oh I need to sort out the eyes on his uh, on his little gas mask as well I think once that's all together that's going to be quite a striking little miniature I'm quite happy with it <laughs> so yeah that's where I am with that I'm quite chuffed so when I've done a little bit more work to the painting I'm going to uh, I'll throw up another video and it'll probably be the one when that's done right then so that's where I am with this fella just wanted to make this a nice quick one it's probably been a little bit longer than I was hoping for uh, and then I'm going to make some videos the rest of the guys have been working on I've also magnetized the plague furnace as well so I'm going to do a little bit of a show and tell on how I magnetize the plague furnace uh, so hopefully it can help anybody else who's looking to make those two kits work together and save some money right thank you very much for watching and hopefully I'll see you in the next one stay well guys